Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about creating a higher resolution vector from a pencil sketch. In this tutorial, basically we will be learning two very important tools of Adobe Illustrator. The first one is the width tool and the second one is the shape builder tool. So uh, we are starting with this pencil sketch. So first of all, we will be using pen tool and using the pen tool and creating the and selecting the uh, color let's say red color and disabling the fill so now we will be creating the outline of this figure so we will start from here like uh, we can start from here and then starting creating outline like this we can increase the width of the stroke initially so that it becomes visible as you can see the outline the outline is not smooth or rounded so we will have to make it smooth initially so what we do we go to window stroke and from here we have to select cap to round cap and corner to round corner now you can see the edges of this outline is rounded so it will give a good effect okay now let's keep on tracing the other outline don't worry about these edges that are going or overlapping the other outlines we will fix it later on okay once you are satisfied with the initial outline we will proceed with the next working now unlock all these outlines by pressing alt ctrl and 2 you can see that all the layers or objects have been unlocked so what we need to do we need to do is to select all these red outlines initially and go to this tool use this tool shape builder tool or you can use the shortcut shift plus m okay now the lines that are overlapping just press alt and keep on delete deleting these lines that are overlapping like this Okay, once you have removed the excessive outlines, now we will select the width tool from here, from the toolbar and the shortcut is shift plus W. Okay, now this is a very interesting and important tool that can give a very nice effect to your illustrations. Just simply select the edge of the outline and scale it like this increase it or you can decrease it so it will give a good effect to illustration like as you can see that it is decreasing from one edge and then increasing from the other edge similarly you can do for the rest of the outlines look it is giving a very nice effect to illustration So you can give a very nice effect to your okay now here comes the coloring part the method that I adopt for coloring the vectors is that just simply select all these outlines and create duplicate of these outlines by pressing alt and just drag it here so it will form the duplicate of these outlines okay now keep on selecting this just change the color of the stroke to let's say blue and press object expand appearance and once again go to object and expand now in this way this strokes have been transformed into a solid object okay now we have to do the colors simply select the shape and go to shape builder tool from here in the toolbar and simply 
keep on pressing these in these areas okay now these are the individual objects that have been created so you you can simply select this 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 and this now these are basically the middle portions that were created and you can simply delete these outlines okay now i have chosen few colors for the gradient these are here so what i do i do i select one shape and go to windows gradient and select the colors like this and i can change its angle to let's say 90 okay apply these colors to by picking the eye dropper tool and simply select on this gradient so this effect will be applied on the other part as well okay now for this we have to apply some brown so we can select the gradient as well for this now what what we have to do we have to change the color of this outline as well so okay it looks it looks good simply you can now remove this sketch from here okay select this these outlines and press control shift and right square bracket so it becomes the top most layer and you can group this so it becomes a one part now you have to place these at the back of your outline now you can see with by following just some some simple steps and the new tools we have transformed our outline into a nice background nice vector we can also add some shading to this part so what we have to do we have to grab the pen tool and select this and create some shape like this and don't worry about this thing just create and fill it with some suitable color now select this portion the middle one and this layer and go to shape builder tool keep on pressing the alt and click this so it will create a nice shading effect to your illustration you can select white color and select soft light and you can reduce down its opacity to 25 or we can increase its opacity to 50% so it can give a very nice shading effect to your shape or vector as well similarly we can do for the same thing for the other areas this here is the shape that we have created and you select the, the existing shape go to shape builder tool keep on pressing alt it will remove it and you can apply the same effect to this area as well so in the same manner you can do a lot of shading a lot of highlights to your illustration and here is our final result as you can see